Hi, this is just a quick short video to um, talk about an issue that I had with this um, 2016 Golf GTE. Uh, it was coming up on the screen that the uh, 12 volt battery was low uh, and then subsequently came up to saying that the 12 volt battery needed to be replaced. Um, a couple of things that I did, I was, thought was very, very strange um, that that happened because the car was performing absolutely perfectly. Um, I did put the car onto a trickle charge and I will show you just briefly underneath it because it's not obvious where to do it. Um, but basically the uh, part that you need, or sorry, the, jump, the jumping points that are normally visible um, are actually underneath this fuse box here. Um, so you simply just remove this and then you'll see at the very front here, that's where you connect the positive for your battery charger. Um, and then also there's the negative uh, ground that goes onto that one there as well. So that's actually how you trickle charge it so it's not... Um, particularly obvious uh, when you open the bonnet and see it because you don't see the normal uh, charging points. Um, the uh, battery came back to say that it had a full charge. Um, the battery itself is um, actually located in the boot on these underneath a sealed unit. Uh, I did take all of this out um, earlier on just to uh, just have a quick look. Um, the battery again seemed to be fine. The, um, the fuse and everything like that uh, was, uh, was had no issue at all. Um, the problem actually stemmed from um, a very annoying feature that the car has um, where the um, battery has a, a, a basically almost like a service uh, interval countdown on it. Um, the certain ODB2 readers will be able to get into it um, to, uh, to get to the function um, or obviously using VCDS as well uh, it can be quite useful and basically you can just go in there and either reset the counter um, or turn it off completely. Um, I don't have any screenshots or anything like that happening, but basically do not um, replace your battery if you're confident that, the, uh, that there's enough power in it straight away. Um, you really don't need a new battery, uh, and certainly taking it to, to someone like Volkswagen, they, they will probably uh, instantly tell you that you need a new battery, but if it's all good, um, simply turn off this counter uh, on the inside um, through the diagnostics. And um, now when we start the car, we don't get the... Um, the error message anymore which is quite thankful because I thought I was going to be in for a new battery so there you go hopefully that uh, will help you um, like I said, I'm sure maybe in other cases a battery will be replaced at a certain point but this car had only done 43,000 miles and like I said was holding a perfect charge so I hope that helps a few people um, I certainly struggle to find a bit of information online about it so um, so yeah hopefully that's helpful thanks for watching see you next time